Hi, it's Miss Christy from the Hickory Corner Branch, and today I want to show you how to make a vomiting jack-o'-lantern. Now, I know it's not really the time of year for jack-o'-lanterns, um, but I just made one out of a watermelon because I think, why not? Why not have a jack-o'-lantern year-round? So now I'm going to show you how to make a science experiment where it's going to look like it's throwing up. It's lots of fun. So you need a jack-o'-lantern. Like I said, this one's out of a watermelon. Um, you also need some kind of container to catch the vomit. And you're going to need something. I like to prop it up on something um, like that so that you can see it a little bit more. Um, you can use a bowl or whatever you want to prop it up on, or you can just sit it down in the container. But I like to be able to see some more of the vomiting action. Um, so I'm just using, I've got this crystal glass part of a set that my uh, grandmother left me. She probably was not thinking I was going to use it in this way, but why not? So I'm gonna set this up here and I'm also going to need some baking soda and vinegar. I tinted my vinegar to be red, but you can leave it you know, plain or you can make it any color you want. And I have my baking soda here and I'm gonna pour baking soda right down in there, right in my watermelon. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my vinegar. So my baking soda is a base and now I'm gonna add my acid and let's see what happens. Actually, I'm just going to pour it in. It's a vomiting jack-o'-lantern! And it just spits it up. You can do this over and over again. So you just put more baking soda in and pour more vinegar in, and it'll keep going and going. And I still, I'll just rinse this right off, and I'll put it outside with a light in it, too, as a, as a lantern. So it can still be used. 